Hello my viewers and in this lesson I just want to teach you on how you can automate the placement of the tags on the beams. Okay, so you see that if I just go to this level, we have the tags on each of these beams, okay. In one of the lessons I showed you on how you can place these tags one by one, okay. If you want to watch that video, make sure that you check the cards above where I explained on how you can place these tags one by one. Now, I just want to show you one tool that you can use, which is under the annotate, then beam annotations. This is the tool that we want to use so that we see how we can automate the placement of these tags, you know, in an instance. All right, so I'll just open this view, okay? Then this view, I'll just go to level one, okay? So if I go to level one, okay, I don't want to see the bases. Let me go to level two. This is the one I want to tag. So assuming that you want to start detailing and you want to place the tags there, the method that I showed you as in that video is the one whereby you are going to click on tag, then you start picking one by one, you, whether you have to decide to add the leader or not, you can do that, you know, such kind of things as I explained in, you know, in that video. Okay, now what I want to show you is the use of the, the beam annotation that too. Let me simply click this one and delete it. So that tool works like this. First of all, you need to know the tag that you are using. Then you apply the tag in that tool. So to do that, simply go to annotate, then go to beam annotations. So this is the tool that you are going to use. Then if you want, you can pick all selected beams in the current view. For example, if I just select the beams, you see it's not active, but once I select the beams, then I go to annotation, beam annotation, you see that it's active. So you can choose to select certain beams and now pick tools or selected beams in the current view. If you don't want to do that, you just want to tag everything, all the beams at once. It's just a matter of going to beam annotations, then just pick all beams in the current view. Okay. If you want, you can pick these options, but really I just want to tag the, the beams. Now, here you are going to see that we have sloped beams in plan. If you have some sloped beams, it will still tag here. Then you can even specify the slope. Okay, remember if you have a sloped beam, you want to specify the slope at the start and also at the end. So you can pick that tag from here, specify the slope, for example, spot elevation, and that is the type you can pick for the start and the end. Okay, but in this case, these are just beams which are not sloped. Okay, they are horizontal beams. So we are just going to use level beams in plan. Then we want the beams to be at the center. Okay, so if you want the, the, the slope also for this horizontal beam to show at what level this beam is, you can activate this one, you see, spot elevation. But I don't want to activate this one. I'll click on none and click on OK. I just want to use this one, which is a structure framing tag. That's the tag that I want to use. By default, I'm just using this tag, you know, from the, from the default template, OK? So once I pick that option and this option, you see that it's just a matter of clicking OK. But before I do that, I'll go to settings and you see that you can also control the placement of that sloped, you know, the spot elevations, how you want to you not know, to place it. But since I'm not using the spot, you know, slope or, or elevation, I'll just click on OK, leave it the way it is. I'm only interested in this one. So once you do that, just click on OK and you see that it's just, you know, a click and all the tags are there. Now you can see that maybe the tags, the, the size is just too big. It's just a matter of just selecting one of the tags, then click on edit family. Okay, then I'll just select on the tag, click on edit from here. Maybe I just want to reduce it to two. Then for this one, maybe I just want to use 0 0.8 so that I can simply, you know, try to, to, to compress it a bit so that it's not, you know, wide, too wide. So that is the width factor. So two is okay. Then click on apply, okay. Then here, I want to see the reference plane so that I see if it's at the center or where. So I'll just go to visibility graphics, VG on my keyboard, then annotation categories and activate the reference planes. Click on apply and OK. Then I can decide to move this one. If I want, I can simply drag it maybe up to somewhere. Or before I drag, I want you to see how it is. I'll just load it there. Then I'm loading it in this project. That's okay. Then click on okay. Then I don't want to save the tag. Just want to be loaded here. Then click on override. As you can see, it's quite small. Now I wanted to move it, so I have to move it down. I don't want to be moving this manually one by one. It's not necessary. That's why this is Revit. Everything is, you know, automated. Most of the things actually. So what you can do, just go back there. 
edit family then remember i activated the reference plans i'll simply select on it and i just want to drag it maybe up to somewhere here so that it's closer to the beam then click there then okay click on no and override as you can see it's very close so you can see that within seconds you can tag everything here in some few minutes okay so this is this are these are some of the tools which are you know help you to be more and more productive now i just want to ask you to say that don't just watch my videos on this channel make sure that you like my videos and subscribe that way you motivate me to do more and more tutorials and if you want to learn revit structure from start to finish i have a course which is quite details make sure that you check the link in the description and also the first comment you like the video so see you in some upcoming tutorials